Okay, what's up guys? Uh, today we're gonna do a bit of a blast from the past. We're gonna be unboxing and giving a smell and review to uh, Gravity by Cody, 1992. So uh, this is an amber woody fragrance. Um, let's see, here's the fragrantica notes on it. Uh, top notes are white pepper, lime and sage, and mandarin orange. Uh, the middle notes are cloves and freesia. And then uh, base notes are leather, woody, and uh, vanilla notes. So, yeah, we'll see. It scores pretty well on Fragrantica. It's got a 4.05. Um, we'll see if it's any good. It was really cheap. I mean, you can find this one. I think this was 10 bucks for a 30 mil. It might have been even cheaper, honestly. Like, you can find it consistently online for like 12 to $15, maybe $10 if you get uh, it at a discounter. So... Yeah, let's give it a smell. All right. So as far as the box, kind of a cheaper box. I mean, you kind of you get what you pay for. Wow, straight out of the box, I can feel this is definitely a cheap container. I mean, the bottle itself, the the glass is okay, but this cap is straight up like hollow plastic. And then taking it off, it's just like my other Cody. I have uh, Aspen for Men by Cody, which is a great fragrance. I would recommend it to anybody um, for looking for kind of a cheap old school one. Um, but yeah, cheap plastic, um, no collar. There's no collar. It's just a bare crimp. So it's a bare crimp cap, a plastic atomizer. Um, and then, yeah, no no collar around it at all. So, you know, sort of the type of stuff you'd find at the dollar store. So this is a 30 mil of gravity. Let's give it a smell. I don't want to, you know, make any judgments yet because it's about the juice inside, right? Decent atomizer. I just reviewed um, the Salvatore Ferragamo uh, Aqua Essential Blue, and it was... Way, this is way better of an atomizer than the other one, as far as like how it performs. So I can smell it already. It's nice and strong. I that that's that is projecting. Definitely woodsy. Definitely like fresh, kind of a blue fragrance. Very crisp. Very clean. Let's look at the notes again. See if I get any of these. I mean, it's it's well blended actually. Maybe I get a little bit of the white pepper. It's not too clovey though. It's a lot more fresh than like a, a. It's not a winter fragrance at all. I would say maybe you could get away with this in fall, but this is like a spring, sort of a spring summer fragrance. I would say. Let's see what everyone else said. Everyone else said it's pretty decent all around. Like mostly spring and fall, but. Pretty decent all around, and I would agree. It's a pretty blue fragrance, meaning blue as in it, it just applies to most situations. It's got a 4.05, yeah, so pretty decent. And I, I gotta say, I like the smell. When you're working with lime, I mean, it's hard to work with lime. You Usually people end up using lime oxide, which is a difficult material to work with. They did a good job. As far as um, longevity, I'm not sure. Uh, going off of the the Fragrantica notes, it looks like it's about average because um, this is my first smell again. Like, I, but yeah, it's pretty decently projecting, very fresh, a little bit dated. I will say it has a little bit of a dated smell, but nothing like if you're gonna smell like Stetson or you're gonna smell like um, Aramis by Aramis. It doesn't smell like old, like an old man kind of fragrance. It's still like something young people could wear. There's a good amount of greenness to it, which I like. It keeps it fresh. Overall, the the, the scent itself, I would give it at least an 8 out of 10. Um, and it's decent pro project, uh, projection, decent performance. For the price, I would definitely say it's blind buy worthy. Um, so yeah, let me know if you end up getting it or if you have it, what you think about it. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.